Okay, in this video, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to transpose the plan of the PCB into an actual PCB. So the first thing to do is open up your file. Um, you're going to go to ULP button and you're going to open up PCBG code setup. Uh, now I'm going to, don't worry about these settings too much. If you can pause, then pause and copy all the settings. However, I'm going to put these as um, screenshots on the ULP as well. Um, so all I'm doing now is I'm just setting, I'm telling the machine exactly what to do. Most important part is uh, here is in the G code style, just select the EMC profile. Now save that. If you've got an up-to-date version of Java, you'll see this screen coming up now. If you haven't, it will just say update Java, but it doesn't matter if you don't see it, it's just a preview. Notice that it is backwards, it's a mirror image, and that is because we're actually making the bottom of the, um, of the PCB. So therefore the components are at the top, then you've got the PCB, and underneath you've got a bottom. So it has to be a mirror image. Go into where you're saving all your stuff. So here it was called first project test, and you're looking for an etch.tap file. Um, you can actually delete the first uh, four lines to M03, include that, uh, don't include that in the deletion, and save it. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Um, send that to send that text file, which is an NC code to um, a thumb drive. Put the thumb drive in the PC that's next to the uh, the SRM20 CNC cutter and turn that on. Then open up the application, uh, the Roland application. Double side sticky tape and secure to the base your copper plate. Close the lid. It won't work if you don't close the lid. Um, and then what we need to do is start jogging the Y and the uh, the X axes. And the home point is the bottom left corner of your copper plate. So wherever your copper plate is, your X and Y is home to that area. Um, when we're using, when we're homing the Z, you've got to be very, very careful. You're going to snap the tip off the bit. So here you can see that I've gone to uh, times 100. So that will be a hundredth of a mil or a tenth of a mil. And the last part, I just used a hex key to undo the chuck, let the the bit slide onto the surface and then secure it. And that is obviously Z equals zero. Uh, what I've done there is X slash Y is X slash Y equals zero. So, um, and then Z equals zero. Now what I do is I go to cut. I uh, delete anything that's there, I add the file that I want to cut, and then I output. And you'll hear the machine start spinning, hopefully, and you'll see it start moving. Um, that little error there with the resume is just because I didn't delete the first four lines, otherwise you won't have that problem. Now you've got to listen for this, if you hear any weird noises, like uh, crunching noises or banging, you've got to stop that machine quickly. Um, if it's going too fast and drilling right into the bed, you've got to stop that quickly. Um, otherwise, it will just uh, route the lines and there shouldn't be a problem and it should just look like that at the end. 